What's going on, y'all? Chuck Nunface here from the car today, doing something a little different. Um, wanted to talk about this guy right here, the TRC Knives K1S uh, in the apocalyptic finish uh, with my car to scales and LMAX steel. I have been carrying this um, virtually nonstop for going on three weeks now. Um, it has pretty much kicked out all my folders from my pocket. Um, and so I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, I have some thoughts to share on it and everything else. Uh, EDC fixed blades are something that I like. So I like uh, my folders, I like bigger folders, and I tend to like smaller fixed blades, traditionally at least. Um, I am having a bit of a, uh, a renaissance, if that's the thing you wanna, that's the word you wanna use when it comes to fixed blade knives, kind of getting into them. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing that I've been posting some, quite a few fixed blade pictures. This one in particular, because I've been carrying it a lot and it's really easy to carry. Um, and so, just kind of uh, figured I'd I'd kind of share some thoughts on this right here. So, TRC knives. A little bit of history on the company. They are based in Lithuania. Um, they are a small shop. They do what's called semi-custom knives. That's what they the term they use. So you know they do have obviously manufacturing processes and production processes and things like that. But there are, there's a lot of hand work that goes into each one of these. A lot of hand finishing, grinding, sharpening, things of that nature. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's a, it's a company that a lot of, well, I don't want to say a lot, but, um, you know, a couple of companies have, have contracted out to do their fixed plays, particularly, um, uh, Dutch, Dutch, uh, Butchcraft, Bushcraft knives. Uh, they have their DBK knife made by TRC, uh, Williams designs. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but they, he does some, a few of his knives. He does, he's, uh, uh, Japanese inspired knives um, and he, they do uh, TRC does the uh, the production for his knives as well and of course they have their own knives they have the self pole which is very popular they have the apocalypse they have obviously this k1s um, and some similar knives as well or some other knives as well so you know the k1s the original south pole was called the k1 and so the pattern that you'll see in the K1S is very similar to the South Pole. It's just sized down a little bit. So, um, you know, the K1S is the K1 small and then the South Pole became the South Pole. So I don't know if that's the exact timeline, but that's kind of what you get here. Um, it's got about a three and three quarter inch blade and about a four and a quarter inch handle, something like that. I don't have the spec sheet in front of me and this is more of an off the cuff video. And then it's got my Carta scales, nicely milled, right there in the micarta and then the hollow pins which are flared out um, on the ends right there too and you'll notice on the blade it does sit a little bit proud of the scales themselves but it's nicely crowned and nicely chamfered so it's very comfortable in hand um, so there's no real risk of it uh, you know there's no scraping or, or hot spots in the handle whatsoever and then it's a full, not a full flat ground, but it's a flat ground, um, high saber or just, I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but it is a flat ground blade and then a nice V edge right there. It is still on the factory edge. I have only touched it up on a strop. I do need to, um, I do need to sharpen it, uh, at some point here. Um, I do have a tiny, tiny nick, uh, that I got. You won't even be able to see it probably in this video, but, uh, there is a tiny nick right there on the belly, um, but uh, you know, it's nothing too major. Um, and I've been stropping it and everything else and it's just been hair popping sharp. So uh, no complaints on that. They treat their LMAX to about 61, 62. Um, and they're, they're known for having a really great heat treat on LMAX. Um, LMAX is one of those steels that kind of has fallen out of favor, you know, um, you know, in with preferences leading towards M390 and things like that. Uh, but LMAX is a great steel and they, they do heat treat it really well. Um, now I haven't put this through any sort of hard tests or anything like that. Um, but you know, what I have done with it as far as breaking down boxes, opening up packages, um, what else have I done with it? Uh, just various EDC tasks, nothing crazy. Um, you know, I've done, uh, I've done all sorts of stuff with it and it's done great. I've just been stropping it and that's it. Um, I probably don't even need to strop it as much as I do. It's just something that I like to do. So I've just been stropping it to kind of keep it sharp. Um, it does come, one good thing about TRC 
is a lot of knife companies, you know, that are making fixed blade knives. The sheath, the sheath is almost an afterthought. Um, you usually get this, you know, injection molded plastic kind of cheapy sheath, not even Kydex. It's, it's poorly fit. Um, you get a lot of rattle in it and everything else. Um, the two TRC knives that I have, the sheaths are definitely not an afterthought. They're actually quality, good sheaths. Now, it, this comes with a, it comes with a nice Kydex sheath where there's no rattle or anything like that in it. Um, and if you look at my, my unboxing video of the TRC South Pole, um, it's a different design, but the quality level is the same. And the reason I don't have it uh, with me to kind of show you is because I've been using this, this uh, Oak City leather uh, pocket sheath pocket clip slip. Um, so I've been carrying it in this and that's how it goes right there. And that's the way I've been using this. And I, I, I mean, I really couldn't be happier with the way this kind of go all comes together as a total package. Now I will say that as far as pocket fixed blade carry goes, this is probably at the limit and it's going to be higher than the limit for a lot of people. Uh, but it's pretty much, I would think at the limit for pocket carry, you know, as you see right there, that's your deep carry clip. You're gonna have about that much, good two, two and a half inches sticking out of your pocket. Now, for some people that's gonna be way too much. I mean, honestly, at first when I was thinking about it and I was carrying it, I was a little bit self-conscious about it, but I got over that real quick. Um, I'll even carry it around, you know, at work and everything else. I mean, I've got a pretty, you know, my uh, the people I work with are, are, are pretty cool. They're not really worried about stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll carry it around, but you do have, that's something you need to keep in mind. You know, with a knife this size, it's got about an eight and a half inch overall length, maybe nine inch overall length. You are going to have quite a bit of, of knife sticking out of your pocket. And so for a lot of people, they're not going to want to carry it this way. But, you know, I think it works great. Now, Oak City Leather, he's got an Instagram page um, and he does a really great job, you know, putting, you know, all that all that stitching, double stitched, double welted. Um, and you can even do other types of attachments on there with these screws. You can do, um, if you want to do a scout carry, you can get leather straps that he sells, or you can use, you know, pull the dots that you may have yourself. Um, so there's different options, you know, as far as that goes, but, uh, you know, this is a great way to carry it and it just goes right in the pocket. And there's something to be said about having a fixed blade on you. There's something very reassuring about having one solid piece of steel in your hand instead of, instead of a folder. Um, you know, I, I like folding knives. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not always going to carry folding knives, things like that, but you know, a nice, good fixed blade, there's a lot to be said for it. Um, it, it's, it, it gives you a lot of, a, a great sense of confidence when you've got, you know, just a solid piece of steel in your hand for whatever task that you may have to complete. Um, in any case, I think I'm going to wrap it up with that. Um, two great companies, one package right here, TRC knives out of Lithuania, and then Oak Oak City Leather. Um, I want to say out of Ohio, but I'll have to double check on that. I'll put a link to both in the description, TRC Knives and Oak City, uh, to at least Oak City's leather uh, IG page. Um, which reminds me, if you haven't done so already, if you can go ahead and give me a follow on, on Instagram, at Chuck underscore Nunface. If you haven't done so, just go ahead and please click that little subscribe button right there in the corner. I would definitely appreciate that. That would help me out a lot. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about, um, you know, TRC Knives or, or ED6 Fix Blades or anything like that. Um, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.